the Skyrim AESE Creation Kit, proper installation for Vortex and MO2, and a couple troubleshooting tips. Welcome to Gamer Poets. Open the Creation Kit page. Select the free download option. Agree through the prompts. No need to change anything. Now that the CK is downloaded, we'll finish installation and learn where to launch it from. The first time, do so right from Steam. Make sure to use the CK under the software menu. If you have a Skyrim Creation Kit under Tools, it's only for the Legendary Edition, so not that one. During installation, agree through the pop-ups. Allow time for unpacking. Going forward, if you are an MO2 or Vortex user, you will install and launch the CK from your mod manager. This is how it's done. MO2 should auto-detect the CK. If it doesn't, modify executables. Add executable. Add from file. Navigate to the special edition game folder. Double-click the creation kit.exe. Can't see the .exe? Watch my modding tips video. Back at the executable window. Apply. OK. From now on, launch the CK from the Run drop-down menu. Note! You know to keep MO2's overwrite folder empty. Because you've seen all of my MO2 videos and you follow good practices. I know. So since we're on the same page, be aware that everything you save in the CK will now appear in Overwrite. Create a new mod in the left pane and drag your CK files from Overwrite into it anytime a new one appears. Open your dashboard. Add tool. New. Icon to the right of target. Navigate to the Special Edition game folder. Double-click the Creation Kit executable. Save. Going forward, launch the CK from here. By default, the CK only allows a single master file. Trying to select more than one generates an error. Let's fix this before it becomes a problem. In the game folder, open the Creation Kit Any. At the top of the general section, add this line. B, allow multiple master loads, equals one. You can copy and paste it right from the video description. Close and save. Next, launch the CK. For my workflow, I arrange the windows like this. They are all going to be used at some point. When you close the program, their position should be saved. A flickering view window. If you have this bug, it's likely due to a current GPU driver issue. Once you have selected a cell to view, the issue goes away. Other than just dealing with this, you need to wait for a driver update or to temporarily downgrade. MO2 tip. If the CK won't launch from MO2 and you get this error, modify executables. Select the creation kit. Activate Overwrite Steam App ID. Add this number. Apply. OK. Other than MO2 users, all CK files that are generated will appear in the data folder. Be aware of this so you can pack them up later. In the next video, we'll install CK fixes and learn how to downgrade the kit if needed. Thanks for joining me. Going, going for, going, going forward. If you are going forward, if you are in going forward, if you are a Vortex or MO2, going forward, if go, can't see the dot. Can't see. Can't see the dot. Yeah. Let's fix this before it becomes a problem. Fuck. Let's fix. Let's fix this. Let's fix this before it becomes a problem.